Hi guys, so this week I thought maybe I would try doing like a reading vlog so the audio might be really interesting being outside a lot. Uh, let me actually move the camera closer. So if I had a lot of money, I would buy myself a camera because currently I just film these videos on my phone. Um, oh. So this week I'm going to try to read a lot. So actually the book that I'm reading is Middle March by George Eliot and this was mentioned in uh, the last bookshop in London, they were reading it, and I was really intrigued by it and really liked it. And uh, someone left a review of the last bookshop in London saying that they didn't like the, the book because it was unrealistic that someone would actually like Middlemarch because apparently it's a really boring book to a lot of people. So I have my green tea here, and I have Middlemarch, and it's about 90 degrees out here, but I am, you know, getting my hours outdoors in, so it is. 336 right now, and I'm on page 36 of Middle March. I'm actually enjoying it so far, and I think it's really interesting. So basically, there is it's about two sisters. I don't know if the whole book is going to be bad, but it's two sisters. One who's very intensely like religious and kind of uh, legalistic about it, and then one who's a lot more uh, worldly. Right now, it's just about like their neighbors and. Um, falling in love and wondering who's going to marry who, but yeah, I'm not that very far into it. So maybe I'll do some time lapses and you can see me reading and hopefully you'll see me multiple days throughout this week. So let's get to reading. Okay, this book is actually so interesting and like I don't want to put it down and stop reading because you really want to know where the story is going so this is so funny it's it's amusing like it makes me it's making me laugh and smile as I'm reading it and I've only read like four pages so far since I've been out here the older sister Dorothea is so dumb sometimes and doesn't notice anything that's going on and her sister tells her that this guy is in love with her, and um, she's like, Whoa, I never thought of that before. I thought he was in love with you, but it's so obvious that he's not. And then her uncle comes in and is like, Oh, by the way, this guy that you seem to really like, he also really likes you, and asked me for permission to, like, offer marriage to you. And she's like, Oh, okay, you know, if he offers, I'll accept. And it's just so weird, because she's so tells herself that there can't be like any feelings or fondness she says i definitely won't feel fondness for the guy that i end up marrying it's all very like logical um there's this other guy you know that really wants to marry dorothea but she doesn't like him at all and i kind of hope that that is where the story's going that they end up or she ends up liking him because he's much more like unconventional yeah i don't know it's it's very like the way it's written is interesting and makes me not want to put it down so let me actually get back to reading Pretty sure this is not turning out how I expected it to, but no spoilers in the comments. If you have read Middle March, if you haven't, you should read it alongside me um, so we can get our thoughts and talk about it. I'll definitely be talking about it over on Instagram. I really like talking about it as I'm reading it and giving you kind of almost my live reactions, but I'm really enjoying Middle March so far. So I will see you probably tomorrow. Good morning. It is 7.41. I just finished reading my Bible, and I'm in the book of Nehemiah, and I have a, a Daily Grace Co. Um, Bible study that I read with it, and it's really um, great. Sorry, <laughs> trying to hold my phone. Um, I'm really enjoying studying the book of Nehemiah, and I've never really studied it before, and so it's really interesting to see all the things that are in there. And now I'm going to move on to reading um, this book. I'm going to start it. It's called God, Technology, and the Christian Life by Tony Rinke. 
my dad got this when he went to a conference a few months ago and I thought it looked really interesting especially for someone who's on Instagram and YouTube to see what his, uh, his perspective is on how technology relates to the Christian life and we'll see if it's too boring and I don't finish it but I hopefully it's a really interesting book and I will read that so now I'm on to more reading. up to my hammock to read and um, I'm really enjoying this book it's really well written and he starts out the first chapter is what is technology and he goes through even talking um, through the Bible and where we see technology show up which so often we think of technology as only like computers and phones but he's talking about how tools are technology any kind of farming stuff is technology um, so I'm on page 21 Let's see the first chapter is 31 pages long yeah, it looks really interesting. His his family actually are um, inventors of like farming tools and trucking um, stuff. So he's very familiar with technology. And then the book is going to go through and talk about how we can have a good theology of technology as we grow up in this age where it's getting more and more technological each day. So it's a really interesting book so far. And I would, I would recommend it for the first 20 pages that I have read. So I'm headed out to go uh, work in our church bookstore again to organize some more stuff, but I just wanted to give y'all an update on my reading today. So I spent about three hours outside today, um, which is awesome. I don't really know if I've talked about it on my channel yet, um, but I'm doing the thousand hours outdoors challenge. So yeah, I actually got three hours outside today, which is really nice because it's like 90 degrees outside, so any days that I can actually be outside the whole time this is great. But I basically spent like two of those hours reading outside, reading my Bible, and then I'm on about page 50 of that book, God, um, Technology in the Christian Life. Uh, and it was really cool. I tried to show it in the time lapse, but it didn't show up. They actually quoted um, Scott Christensen in that book, which I've actually met him, and he goes to a church down the road from us. So I thought that was really cool that uh, Tony Rinky quoted Scott Christensen in his book. But I'm really enjoying that so far. And then I was going to read Middle March this afternoon, but usually whatever book I'm already reading that day, I just get stuck in it and I really want to read that book like, the whole day. Um, so I have not picked up Middle March yet, but last night I was reading more of it. So yeah, I, I am actually really enjoying Middle March. And my mom's reading Persuasion right now, so I was just comparing Middle March to Persuasion or Jane Austen books. And I think they're just so much better boring like the way that Austin writes is very um, matter of fact I feel like in Middle March even though he's very loquacious there's lots of big words in there it's just written in such a way that's it's amusing the whole book is funny I feel like and I'm really enjoying it the funny thing about doing this is that you know normally you would uh, be reading a lot and replace that with your like, phone screen time if you read but since I have to use my phone as my camera, then it actually makes me have more screen time each day, and it's like a little bit of stressful for me to see. But it's great being able to read a lot, and now I'm going to work with books. Today's pretty filled with books, so um, I will see you later when I. Hi guys, it has been two days since I have picked up the camera to film anything. I've only been able to read in little snippets during that time. It's been pretty busy. The end of, end of, ends of the week are usually pretty um, busy for me. So it is now Saturday and I've been able to pick up Middle March a little bit and you'll see a little clip of me reading that 
Today's been more of a relaxing day after a busy few days, and I've been able to get back into reading some. I also read a little bit of The Excellent Wife for a book study, so I was reading things, but not necessarily filming at all. Hey guys, so it is now Tuesday of the next week, so this is officially going to be the end of this video. I haven't filmed as much as I know I should have, but it just was really difficult with the timing and using my phone to film and everything, but I hope you enjoy the footage that I did get. Um, it was fun to kind of give you more of like a day in life, and I know I didn't get to finish the little video that I was doing the other day, but basically I was saying that um, my brother will very much enjoy this video because he tells me all the time that I need more like action videos and less just sitting down and talking. I hope that y'all enjoy a little bit of a different video and enjoy getting to watch me read and go about my week reading. And I hope that you guys are making time throughout your day to read. I just realized more and more how important it is to sit down and to slow down and focus on that because we're so used to being hyperactive and having our brains be stimulated and it's so hard to actually focus on something and get our attention span to be longer. So I would encourage you all to go and start reading even if it's for 15-30 minutes a day. Just start that practice and if you do it outside that's even better. So I will see you guys in next week's video. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button. It really supports my channel and thank you guys for being here. Bye!